All right. Today we are going to look at using the standard algorithm to multiply three and four digit numbers by one digit number. So this is very similar to what we did yesterday, except we're just adding some additional place values to our first factor. So let's take a look at our first one. 295 times 6. And I want to first find an estimate so that I can check to see if my answer is reasonable. Is 295 closer to 200 or 300? 300. So I would, my estimate would be 300 times 6. My basic math fact is 3 times 6, which is 18. And then I need to put my two zeros behind it. So when I solve this problem, my answer should be somewhere around 1800. All right, so we're gonna multiply starting in the ones place. Five times six is 30. So I can't put two digits down in the ones place. So I have to regroup the three and I put the zero down, 30. All right, so now I am going to multiply the nine times the six. What is nine times six? Hmm. If we're not sure, we have our multiplication chart and we can come down here to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, 54. And I need to add three to that 54. So I'm gonna put 54 in my brain and I'm gonna count up three more. So 54, 55, 56, 57. So where is the five going to go in 57? Up top of the two. And where is the seven going to go? On the bottom right here. So now I'm going to move to the next digit, which is the two in the hundreds place. And I'm going to multiply the two times the six. Two times six is 12. So I'm gonna put 12 in my brain and I'm gonna count up until I get, or I'm gonna um, add five extra. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And I write that right there. Yes, I can because I don't have anywhere to carry it. So 1,770 is, <clears throat> pardon me, is that close to my estimate of 1,800? Yes. Yes. So that is a reasonable answer. Let's take a look at number two. 953 times four. Is 953 closer to 900 or closer to 1,000? It's really kind of right there in the middle, but it's a teeny tiny bit closer to a thousand. It's just a little bit closer to a thousand. So I am going to estimate it as 1,000 times four. What is 1,000 times four? 4,000, yes, because I have my basic math fact of one times four is four with three zeros behind it. So my estimate is 4,000. And now I'm going to, um, sorry, I just feel a little coffee on me, but it's okay. Uh, I, but it did distract me for a moment. My apologies. So I'm going to start multiplying here in the ones place. So one, um, three times four is 12. Can I put both digits here? No. So where does, what am I going to put up here? One goes up here, two down here. So now I'm going to move to the tens place. Five times four is? Five times four is 20 plus one. 21. Now I move to the hundreds place. Nine times four. What is nine times four? Thank you, 36. 
36 and two more. 36, 37, 38. And I'm going to write that right here. 3,812. Now, I want to do number four with you as well because it is a four digit by a one digit number. So first I'm gonna estimate, it's 4,276. Is that closer to 4,000 or closer to 5,000? 4,000. It is closer to 4,000. So I'm gonna estimate that as 4,000 times nine. Four times nine is 36 with three zeros. So my answer is going to be somewhere around 36,000. So you all right now are interrupting my instruction and I understand you have questions, but those questions could have been answered had you listened to what I said rather than have conversation. I do not argue with children. I need you all to pay attention when I speak. I do. So six times nine, I'm multiplying in the ones place. Six times nine is 54. Seven times nine. Thank you, 63 plus five, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. 68, and now two times nine, 18. plus six, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24. So I'm going to keep carrying that tens place until I run out of digits to carry it to. Four times nine? 36. And two more. 36, 37, 38. 38,484. So today, you are going to be finding an estimate and finding the exact answer, multiplying multi digit whole numbers times a one digit number. Now remember, you have to multiply all the digits times that one digit number. 